So what's going on, chicks and dudes? Well, a few hours ago I put up a video blasting some Tennessee fans for uh, making fun of Nick Chubb's injury. And I did this based on seeing Uncle Lou's video where he was mad talking about Tennessee fans, you know, uh, poking fun at Chubb's injury, and of course he went on his rant about that, and Tennessee fans still blaming Dooley for the problems at the university's football program right now. Uh, I'm a little bit mad. Well, maybe mad's not the right word. Uh, a little bit disappointed, Uncle Lou. You know... Two wrongs don't make a right, brother. And on Facebook, I saw where I guess someone might have been making fun. I don't know if they were making fun of Chubb or whatever. But your reply was, uh, Chubb's knee recovered. How's Pat Summit doing? Or something to that effect. So, making fun of kids who get injured is wrong, but making fun of people who are dead is okay in your eyes. You're going to have to explain that one to me, dude, because I, I don't get that. Um, maybe I come from a different time and a different place where to me poking fun at injured people and dead people is asinine uh, I don't know man maybe maybe I'm making a mountain out of a Uncle Lou hill here but I, I just think it's kind of messed up that you put a video up ranting about someone uh making fun of your precious, I'm, I'm going to use that word precious, because, you know, Nick Chubb is obviously very valued to you, and, and I get that. So what makes it okay in your eyes to talk about, even if it's only one little smart-ass comment, Pat Summit, a woman who is a legend... Not just to Tennessee fans, but th this woman was a legend multiple times over, far beyond the basketball court. Um, and I get it. You were retorting to someone who said something about Chubb. You know, this, this whole damn thing is getting ridiculous. Can we not just stop this shit and... Can we just drop the whole Nick Chubb thing and any of the Pat Summit jokes and get down to the game at hand this weekend? I get it. Georgia fans are confident. You guys should be. You've got what appears to be a great team this year. And TTC videos and trash talking aside, you know, if I'm talking realistically, Tennessee's chances of winning this game are probably not very good this Saturday, but I'm a Tennessee fan. I'm die hard all the way. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just lay down and give you guys that win. And I, I would I would think that you would think less of me if I did. So hell yeah, I think we can win this game Saturday and I think we're gonna win this game because I think our kids have got as much backbone as I do to stand up for not not necessarily what's right, but as far as these guys go, to stand up for all the shit that's being talked about them right now. You know, for all the doubters out there. For all the people that, even the local media is not giving Tennessee a chance in this game Saturday. Say what you will, we'll find out Saturday, that's for damn sure. Uh. Uh, that didn't have a chance either. Yeah, I'm a vulgar, toothless, 
smart-ass Tennessee hillbilly, if you want to call me that. But pick on one of mine, and I'm going to whoop your ass. And I would hope that Georgia fans would be the same. So let's stop this stupid Nick Chubb shit. And let's stop this poking fun at Pat Summit shit. She can't even defend herself. So, Uncle Lou, set the example. Don't be the example. How about that, huh? Go Vols, screw y'alls, and we'll see you Saturday, big boy. Win, lose, or draw, like you say, I'll be here, and you know I will. Whether we win, whether we lose, we ain't going to draw. There'll be no kissing sisters in this game. Somebody's coming out of there a winner, and it's going to be the large orange. Let's get down to football. Leave this childish shit behind us, please.